Not your typical bed and breakfast. The country's only cannabis museum is advertising for guests on accommodation website Airbnb. Initially used to house activists, artists and musicians, the museum is now opening its doors to tourists. There's such an appetite for cannabis tourism in New Zealand. New Zealand is really known for its high use rate of cannabis. Um, cannabis culture is a big part of New Zealand culture, even though it's hidden away. And the tourists are really hungry to get a lens into that. The museum doesn't charge an admission fee and solely relies on donations from social club members. That brings in a few hundred dollars on a good week. So, founders are renting the spare room so they'll no longer have to fund operations from their own pocket. Most people kind of turn their nose up at us because of the controversial nature of the subject material in our museum. Uh, but we've gotten, you know, pretty good will from the community, but we always need a little more. The museum has already had their first guests and more are booked in for the Fleetwood Mac concert in November. And Gray hopes they'll take the opportunity to learn more about the cannabis culture during their stay by pursuing the museum's exhibits. We can't, you know, we obviously can't just allow uh, open cannabis consumption on the premises and we can't provide cannabis for any of the guests. Um, that would be great. Um, you know, that's what they do overseas and that's what the tourists actually want. Uh, unfortunately, we would be shut down very quickly. He believes there's a real niche for this kind of accommodation and the new venture comes as city's leaders call for more investment in the visitor sector. Annabelle Dick, 39 Dunedin News.